Storm time! I was sitting in the Smilesville playground with Senpai, Koda, Evelyn, Iapmus, Anatir, and Aleve, Iapmus holding a notepad and pen. We all sat in a circle on the grass, Koda holding his black acoustic guitar in his lap and strumming idly. Aleve was happily petting Iapmus' pretty wings, and Anatir was having one of her pouty fits, her arms crossed as she watched the rest of us quietly. You sure you'd rather play bass than drums? I asked Senpai, and she nodded. I like drums, but there's just something about playing a bass that makes you feel... Awesome, suggested Koda. I feel that way with my guitars. Yeah, Senpai agreed with an enthusiastic nod. Drums are taken! Evelyn squealed, making most of us jump. I just said I wanted to play bass! exclaimed Senpai exasperatedly. Oh, said Evelyn with a blush. I wasn't listening. There's a snail on that tree trunk! Of course there is. Senpai sighed, rolling her eyes. Yup Miss scribbled something on her notepad. All right. She drawled, ignoring the levee nuzzling her nose into her wings obnoxiously. Koda is on the guitar, Evelyn is on the drums, Senpai is on the bass. Fritana, what was yours? Keyboard? Keytar! I replied happily. 80s style, bitches! Yup Miss took note of this, but deliberately left out the word bitches. Then I control the lights. Who is going to be in charge of sound and effects? I want to do effects! shrieked Neleve, pulling away from Iapmus, a feather stuck in her bangs. I want to do pyro and explosions and bubbles and sprinkling some great explosions! Should we really trust Neleve with special effects? asked Koda, raising a brow. I mean, I don't want to, you know, die. Oh, she's great with stuff like that, Evelyn assured us. She totes knows what she's doing with stuff like that! Stuff like that! How do you know? I asked. She backs up a few minor performances in the city, said Evelyn. It's fun time, huh? Added Neleve. Okay, said Yatmus, taking another note. That please Anatir for sound control. Do you agree, Anatir? Hmm, <laughs> she huffed in response, her nose scrunched up. What, don't you want to play a part in our band? I asked. I want to play an instrument, Anna grumbled, and I sighed. We all agreed that the band wouldn't have others, I said. It was even your idea! You said that you, Iotmis, and Neleve would be better off on the sidelines because you'd have better control over what happens outside of the stage. We even voted, and the only one who voted no was Neleve. Senpai elaborated. That's what we were voting for? Asked Neleve. I thought we were voting on hats. I stared at her, and then looked back to Anna, gesturing to Neleve desperately. Fine, she shouted, throwing up her hands. A few people playing a bit further away eyed her tentatively. The presence of three others had attracted quite a bit of negative attention. Well, if you want to do effects instead, said Senpai, trying not to get annoyed. I'm sure Neleve would be more than happy to. No! Anatir interrupted. I want to be in charge of sound. Koda was the only one who showed his frustration, letting out a loud, Ugh! to the magenta sky. You know what we're missing? Said Senpai suddenly, gently taking Ippy's notes to look over them. A singer. Oh, crap! I said, slapping my palm to my head. Yo, it's not me. I'm good with my guitar. Said Koda smoothly, giving his acoustic a small hug. I like to sing, Senpai muttered. So do I, I concurred. This was a conflict since both Senpai and I had been in choir together in high school, and we loved singing. I play the drums! Said Evelyn again. Thank you, Evelyn! Senpai snapped, and Evelyn sucked in her lips, eyes wide, going silent. We don't have bassist or guitarist replacements, I thought aloud, so we can't, like, switch off. There's got to be a solution to this, said Senpai firmly, her brow furrowed in concentration. Maybe, do we know anyone else who can sing so we don't have to compete for the position? Every one of us exchanged looks, and then Evelyn gasped. Tenji! She squeaked. Oh, duh, I said. How could we forget him? We're really gonna let Tenji sing in our band? Koda asked emotionlessly. Well, yeah, Senpai replied. He's a great singer and a natural performer. All right, said Koda with a shrug. But don't come crying to me when he changes one of our songs to be about cheeseburgers. After that, the seven of us stood and quickly left the park, crossing Cotton Street to get to Tenji's house. Well, how diddly ho, friends, Tenji said when he opened the door. Shut up, Flanders, I joked. We have a proposition for you. 
Well, by the looks of it, he said, scratching his chin, I'd say you're asking for an orgy. Sorry, not interested. Oh, just let us in! Senpai exclaimed impatiently, and Tenji chuckled, stepping aside to allow us to enter. So, what can I do you for? He asked, flopping on his fabulous sparkly purple couch. Evelyn and Aleve sat on either side of him. Senpai, Ippy, Anna, and I sat on the opposite couch, which was sparkly blue, and Koda sank into a giant cupcake-shaped chair. You're so gay, he sneered, setting his guitar aside. Well, technically I'm not, but whatever flies your zeppelin, Koda boy, replied Tenji with a smooth laugh. Anyway, I pressed, shooting Koda a look to keep him from retorting. We've made a band, but we're missing one of the most important pieces. A uh, half-naked Lindsay Lohan? Tenji suggested, and we all snorted, except for Yotmus and Anatir. Maybe about ten years ago, I said with a chuckle. No, we need a singer. Tenji gasped and leapt to his feet, hands clasped to his chest. Oh my god, really? He exclaimed rather girlishly. I mean, if you really want to. It doesn't look like you're too excited about it, Senpai said with sarcasm. Of course I want to! Tenji actually looked like he was about to start hopping with joy. Oh, this is awesome! I'm so happy! He suddenly lifted his hand and pressed the back of his wrist to his forehead. Evelyn, catch me! He hissed, and as soon as Evelyn bounced up from the couch, Tenji mock fainted in a very prissy way, letting out a dreamy sigh. <sighs> Senpai and I were dying from laughter. So you'll do it? Asked Koda, and Tenji, still in Evelyn's arms, opened one eye to peer at him. What part of... <sighs> Don't you understand? Perfect, said Yotmus emotionlessly, writing on her notepad again. Oh, but you're still lacking a name. How about the super awesome Coda experience? Said Coda. This was my idea, after all. We're not naming the band after you, I shot at him, and he shrugged apathetically. Let's call it Tenji Palooza, suggested Tenji, and I placed my face into my palm. We can't name it after one of us, that's not fair! <gasps> Squeaked Naleve, and we all glanced at her. A very awkward silence followed this, and we chose to ignore the suggestion. I'm almost positive there's a regurgitated rainbow somewhere out there, I went on. That was always my go-to band name when I was a teenager. Okay, wait. What if we're called Coda and the Chicks? Said Coda. I'm a guy, said Tenji. You'll look like a girl to me. Coda, we're still not naming the band after you, I repeated. But you're the Chicks. That includes you. Sentence of the Rico. Shut, Shut up, Nalede! Wait, said Tenji suddenly, putting out his hands and looking off into space as if he was blind. What about Bucket List? Why? asked Senpai, bemused. Because it's obscure, Tenji replied excitedly. Come on, think about it. We're what everyone should see before they die. We're what everybody should do before they die, Koda mumbled. We're everything that everybody needs before anybody dies, cheered Evelyn. And even though this didn't make sense, we responded with sounds of approval. On the front cover of Ippy's notepad, she wrote, Bucket List, in big capital letters. I think being part of a band is what most people want to do before they die, I said with a laugh. And then, out of nowhere, Nileve pulled out a party favor and blew it as hard as she could. Hooray for dying after Hamish and stuff! She sang. After pitching some ideas, Tenji went to his kitchen and baked us a batch of fire cupcakes in celebration of our kickoff as a brand new band. This was going to be one of the funnest things we've ever done! And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three, four! Hey, Wonder and stuck on replay Then never stop recording everything that you say You can try to find alright, but they'll make sure to strike right back So just keep out of their sight until it's time for us to end